hello friends welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to see an interesting topic how to integrate the cloudfast cdn to your cloudace account as you know cdn plays a vital role in the site loading speed we have integrated cloudfast cdn for our blog to pass the core web vitals test let's get into the tutorial log into our cloudace account go to your main server click applications now Pick the application to which you want to enable the CDN. Look at the left side settings. You can see the option Cloudfare. Click it. It will show all the feature details for you to read. Please go through the details given over there. It is all about the performance and security features that will take your site to the next level. After glancing at the Cloudflare features, just scroll down to see the pricing details. You can see the pricing at 4.99 US dollars for 1 to 4 websites and if you have more than that, you need to pay more. Here I will choose the CDN for one single domain, entering my domain name and clicking the enable button. It's a bit lengthy process and it might take some time, like one to two minutes. After that, it will display two records to verify your domain ownership. You can see these records here. I have registered my domain in Godaddy, hence I am heading over there under the DNS management section click add button now in the type field choose txt and to enter the name and value you have to go to your Cloudace account and copy the name and paste it over here likewise copy its value and paste it under the value field keep the ttl as default and after adding all these details click add record so we have successfully added the first txt record in the domain name register and we have to add the next txt record over there so i am clicking the add button once again and choose txt in the type field so go to your claudia's account to copy the name and paste it over here and again to your claudia's account copy the value details and enter here keep the ttl as default like before now click add record button so we have added two txt files in the domain register you can see these files here now we have to verify the domain ownership in cloudace so go to your account and click next button you'll get a message saying that they are verifying your domain and it may take a maximum of 24 hours for completing the verification. Once it is done, you have to point your domain to the Cloudfire Enterprise Network using the C and A name records. However, you don't need to wait for 24 hours. Just click the button finish. You will be redirecting to the Cloudfire's features and status page where you can see the status as pending verification. As I said earlier, you don't need to wait for 24 hours. Click the refresh button which is near the pending verification of your domain. Now you will see a change in the status saying that the domain not live. You have to add the A record to take your domain live. Click view A record 
and it will tell you to point your domain to the cloud fire by providing two values under the A records. So you have to add these records to your domain register. Copy the first value. Now I am switching my browser tab to the GoDaddy account. I want to tell you one thing before adding A records to your domain account you should delete the old A records in it. Listen I am deleting my old A record in my domain account and getting the message that I have successfully deleted the A record. Now let's add the new A record go to the type field and select A enter at in the name field and paste the first value in the detail section choose custom and 600 seconds click a record so the a record gets added likewise copy the second ip address given in the cloud days account go to your domain registration account click add and in the type section select a give add symbol in the name field paste the ip address under the value section keep the dtl as custom like before and click a add record button so we have added two a records and now it's time to include the c name record as well like deleting the old a record you have to remove the existing c name records before adding the new one here i am deleting the C name records also. Now click add and choose C name in the type field. Enter www under the name section and your domain name in the value field. Click add record. Now we have included C name record with your domain name. So totally we have added three records two A records and one C name record. Now go to your Cloudways account. Cloudfire features on the status page saying that the status is active. So we have successfully integrated the Cloudfire Enterprise Network to our Cloudways account. I am refreshing my blog and checking whether it is loading correctly or not and you can see that it is working properly. That's it. You have learned how to activate the Cloudfire CDN in cloud is existing account thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel to get more useful wordpress tutorial like this